Hi, good day, and welcome to another one of my videos. It's Jenya from Crystal Claws. All right, so since I've been playing around with the 3D um, fringe, I've been asked by a few to do a video. So here we go. Now, it's still pretty new to me, so please forgive me any mistakes I may make. All right, so I'm going to do this using our velocity speed gel, and I'm going to be choosing a um, a peachy color tone because I'm going to do sort of a peachy color gradient. All right, let's get ready. All right, so with the Crystal Claws Velocity Speed Gel, you are going to need a base coat. Now, it's not necessary to use a rubber base. Um, using the our, our general base coat um, is much more cost effective than using a rubber base. Now, as I said, I've chosen, let me just grab it here. I've chosen sort of a, a peachy color um, undertone, as I said, because I want to do a coral gradient. So I just wanted to, to, you know, sort of to look good and, and blend in nicely. All right, so I'm going to start off by putting my poly gel onto my nail. And I'm going to start off by creating my reverse fringe first. So I'm just going to press my poly gel out. Nice and evenly. And I'm going to start bringing it into that reverse shape. Now there are sections that are going to be time consuming. So what I will be doing with those sections at the most important parts, I'll obviously slow down and, and go through it slowly. But a lot of the video I am going to speed up because this is, it's a be they, they're beautiful, all right? I'm absolutely in love with them. I'm absolutely obsessed with them, but they are, a very time consuming design to do. So what I'm doing is I'm getting my, my shape. Now, as you can see, I'm going up on my side. Let me actually use my spatula for this, but I'm going to wet my spatula with a little sanitizer. Shout out to Ben. Ben, thank you for that um, handy little trick. It really does help for preventing the poly gel sticking to the spatula. So I'm just using the back of my spatula just to see that I'm getting my walls nice and flat. The walls are what are extremely important in this design because this is what gives you that three-dimensional look. I just want to flatten this. Now it is going to be an extremely thick nail when you start ladies, or ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a thick nail there is a lot of filing involved. Um, if you have an e-file, that will be a blessing. If you're hand filing, um, you're in for a lot of filing. All right, so I'm now happy with um, what I've done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it onto the side so that you can see I've probably gone a little thicker. I could probably go a little thinner than that. Um, but what I've got, as you can see, um, as I turn it, I'm gonna just turn it slowly. As you can see, I've created a wall an absolute straight up wall all around the nail um, when we get to that step you'll see why that is so important so i'm now going to pause the video i am going to cure this for one minute all right so we've cured that for um 60 seconds and i forgot to mention the color that i have used here is our poly gel number two i've yet to get around to giving them names all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to clean off my inhibition layer my sticky coat now as you know poly gel doesn't give off a very sticky residue now this is where the importance starts to come in first of all you want to keep your smile line beautifully because with the 3D uh, fringe, any mistakes you make, you're going to be able to see them. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my file, but as you can see, I'm not angling it down or over. I'm actually keeping it straight up for the simple reason what I'm wanting to achieve is an absolutely flat, flat, flat wall going down all the way around. Now, as I say, um, make sure that when you're filing your file doesn't move over to any different angle keep it straight keep that wall coming up straight and most of all make sure not to ruin your um, your shape at the front either because as I say 
any mistakes you make are going to show. So once you're happy, um, we're then going to be going into our color. But what I want to do is I'm going to give this, oh, and then of course, sorry, I almost forgot. Um, when I do my sides, I like to keep my top nice and flat. So I'm not going over to the sides at all. I'm not angling down at all into the arch. I'm just keeping a completely flat surface. As I say, there is a lot of filing involved with this one. I'm not even going to worry to file around the back. All of that I will do when I come back. And of course, we want to dust off our excess powder. Now, when you turn your nail over again, let me go slowly. Can you see how flat this wall is? Oops. Can you see how flat our wall is? Even at the front, I'm keeping it completely flat all the way around to the other side. So as you can see, a completely flat wall. I know it does look massive on the camera, but this is actually not as high as it really looks. All right, fabulous. Now, let me just give it one more dust and I'm just going to give it another wipe just to make sure that I don't have any dust sitting on my nail at all. All right, so I've taken a bit of um, gel polish out of my bottle. What I've done is I've taken um, the Color Essentials number 29, which is a slightly sort of a peachy, rosy color, absolutely beautiful. Um, one of our very, very popular colors, I must admit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by painting in my French. Now, I am going to turn it around because I just want to keep it nice and neat. Now, I am working on a clear tip, as those of you who use our gel polishes know, um, that at least 95% of our colors, you only need one coat. But when you're working on a transparent nail, you will sometimes need a little more. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to paint those walls in as well. It does look a bit messy when we get started, but the effect when it's done is beautiful. I'm going to turn it around again just so that I can get to, whoopsie, uh, so that I can get to the other side. And of course, don't forget to bring it up the front of your nail as well. Now, for filing purposes, I like to actually just come on top of the nail a little. Now, bearing in mind that for the dimension, we need the height. But once we file, we're going to be bringing all of this down thinner. So it's also, when you've got it going up a little onto the top, I find it to be a fabulous guideline for you to know when you've actually got to the color. You want to actually file this all away, but you'll see that process as we get to the end. So what I have, uh, let me just double check that side. So what I have is this rim painted all the way, oops, all the way around the nail. And as I say, coming straight up those walls. That up the walls is what's going to give you that 3D effect. All right, so I'm working with a 48 watt lamp. I'm now going to cure this for 30 seconds and then come back in again. All right, fabulous. We've cured that. Oops, and then I dropped it. All right, fabulous. So we've cured this, and now I'm going to come in with my clear poly gel. I have watched videos where they put boulder gel in between, but um, I have tried it. It is stunning. It does give a little more clarity to the, the design, but it is already so time consuming that adding yet another layer um, just takes up a huge amount of time. So what I'm doing again with Ben's wonderful tip, I've actually wet my spatula and I'm using my spatula just to draw up, let me turn that one over to that side, just to draw it up, sorry, thank you, Rana, 
everyone else here pulling my arms straight for me just to draw it up into my sides a little just makes it easier um, to move it now please note that everybody has their own way of working these are just my own you know my own method of doing this and it works for me but something else may work for you so now what I'm doing is I'm coming in and I'm doing as I did with my um, cover pink I'm creating yet another smile line well not another smile line um, more so I'm creating a another reverse with my clear so I'm going to come around I want to keep it in a nice straight wall once again flatten it out so that I've got that nice flat top again and once you are happy that you've got your sides covered as far up as you need them now bear in mind that I have a very deep fringe going here so I do need to keep that smile line going right up into my side your your fringe may be um, shorter than mine your your reverse section uh, but bearing in mind that as far as you want that, that line to go up the side, so you want to pull your product up the side. So we're doing, as I said, the exact same thing we did with our cover pink, except we're just covering this with a clear. Now, also make sure that you don't extend past your gel polish color, um, because then you're going to have a clear line appearing. Once I'm happy that I have my shape where I want it I'm going to cure it again and once again I'm just going to um, flatten the top of my nail all right so with that cured again we're going to come in so there's a lot of um, repeat 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 sleep eat nails repeat <laughs> all right so we're going to come in and again I'm just going to flatten the top I'm not going to worry to file through to that next color yet as I say that um, all the the bringing the product down will happen at the end um, as I said that I am going to do with an e folder and again I'm going to do what I did with the last layer oops I'm off camera again and I'm going to keep filing until I'm happy with the wall now at this point in time I am now going to just keep filing doing what I need to do but I will be speeding up the video from this point because it is just a repeat the process repeat the process so when I get to the next color I will slow down again and go from there All right, so I've got my next layer ready. Um, I've done all my filing. Let me just could just go a little more on this side. Oops, I'm right out of frame again. Okay, that's OCD. All right, so again, I'm now going to go into my second color. Um, on the pastel nail I did, you'll see I went in with a triangle and after that I went in sort of with a, a square ballerina. But I'm just going to go with the straight conventional um, French so as to keep it simple. Um, but do play around with it. Um, you can create some really, really, really stunning designs using this technique. And let's kill this. All right, so our next layer is cured. I'm going to come in with my clear poly gel again. Let me wet my spatula. I'm going to just push it out up my sides a little. Just it the pushing it up the sides with the spatula really is just to help move that product up the side and into place, just making it so much easier um, when you come to oops. Let me just move that. Making it so much easier when you come to pull it up into the sides with the brush. All right, fabulous. Let's go again. All 
All right, we've got that hair cured. We're going to wipe again. So it just looks like a bit of a mess right now. But once we actually start to file the top off, you're going to see the massive difference it's going to make. All right, so now I'm going to um, apply my next color. Oh, before I carry on, um, I forgot my second color that I used is also one of the color essentials, um, number 117. All right, so here we go again um, into our next coat. Obviously, as we're creating a gradient, so we're going darker and darker with every layer. All right, can you see the, the color lines are already starting to um, develop? But yes, once we're finished with this, it's going to look absolutely fabulous. Well, I hope so anyway. All right, let me pause and cure again. And here we go, repeat again. <laughs> Oh, and of course, I missed the last color again. That was also color essential number 135. All right, so now I'm coming in. Um, at this point in time, I'm just going to come in on a last coat. Um, and I'm using color essentials number 119 to finish this off. Now I'm just coming in with my brush because it's right on the tip. Um, and I'm some over there for the wall but as I said at this point in time I'm just going to use my brush here come in with my detail liner and just finish that one up as well And now we're going to cut our last layer, after which we're going to do our filing, and that's when we're going to see our gorgeous gradient. Well, I hope it's going to be gorgeous. All right, so now I have all my layers, all the layers that I'm going to be doing on this one. Now I'm going to go in with the e-file. Now there is a lot of filing, so um, I'm probably going to cut some of the filing out. But here goes, um, I will speed it up. Can you, um, let's just grab a wipe and can you see our, our gradient is starting to show through. All right, I'm going to pause the video now. I've got some filing to do on the sides, but instead of you watching me filing away here, um, I'm going to come back once I'm done filing and um, put on a top coat and we can see the finished effect. All right, and we're just going to 
apply our gel top coat. So there we go, I've applied our top coat and let's see, I am going to take a photo of it because obviously it does, um, I've got reflection coming in, but there we go. Alright, fabulous. Um, I hope this has helped those who are battling. I know there are a lot of videos out there, I have tried to make this as detailed as possible and we do hope you enjoy we would love to see your creations have an awesome day